We came from every corner of the country with a common purpose. Go, 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 go. To bring the war to Hitler's doorstep. Both of you are actually responsible for key moments that really struck me in this series. And uh, Anthony, I'll start with you. My grandfather was actually a navigator in the Air Force during World War II. So wow. watching Band of Brothers in the Pacific, I didn't really connect, but they're great stories here. It was that direct connection to my family legacy. What did you learn about that role in a plane, like playing that type of important part of the crew? Wow, man, that's incredible. That's amazing your grandfather did that. Um, it's, yeah, it's, what's interesting is, you know, the, the pilot, it, they, they had to be quite focused, and but really focused for the three minutes of aerial battle. The bombardier had to be very focused, but really just when he was dropping that bomb. The, the navigator was in a pressure cooker because one coordinate wrong at any given point and the whole mission was completely done. You'd be over enemy lines, you would be, you know, in the wrong place. So the, the, the navigator was in constant, you know, stress, constant stress for position. Your grandfather would have been in this and also manning the guns. So it wasn't just that you were just navigating, you were getting up, you were fighting, you were coming down, having to keep coordinates in your head. It was such a, a, a physical and mental challenge to, to, to be a navigator. You are in charge of 35 planes and 350 air crewmen. Don't you die on me before I get over there. This show is so amazing and I love Band of Brothers, love Pacific. This one I had a personal connection to because my grandfather was a navigator on a plane during World War II. And this is the first time like, I really felt a connection to seeing it on screen. Wow. From your perspective, what do you think sets this series apart compared to the other two? You need a navigator in the air. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it's a whole other, uh, whole other type of warfare you know, during right. World War II, right? So we kind of stay in our World War II box, but we show a whole other way of fighting the war. The casualty rate with these boys, 75% um, hit the ground. Uh, they don't all die. There's prisoners wounded and probably 50% dead maybe, but it's a, it's a real different approach to winning a war. And we initially weren't very good at it, uh, as you saw. The Eighth will be sent in off the largest air armada ever assembled in the history of mankind. Straight into Hitler's territory. And Nate, for, for your character, for Rosie, I think that so much of this series, when you watch the trailers, it's centered on aerial combat. It's centered on all of those aspects of the story, but not to, no spoilers, but in the final episode, Rosie goes on this really heavy journey in that final part where, you know, bringing the camps into the mix what was what was that sequence like? Like, how intense was it filming that sequence? I mean, it was something that I knew uh, uh, from the start was going to be a very important part of, of Rosie's story. It's something that I knew that uh, that was going to be that that I needed to, to to really take seriously from the jump. I mean, obviously, the 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 you know reckoning with that history, especially in relation to to you know where I come from, where my family comes from, you know, that was all that was all stuff that um, that I. I I, I dove into you know uh, uh, despite the um, despite uh, uh, that heaviness in order to kind of you know uh, do justice to that experience, which really for for Rosie at the time, and this is true. I mean you know witnessing the extent and the scale and the scope of of that those that particular devastation, um, you know there was a there was there was surprise to it because um, you know who, who could comprehend uh, that that kind of evil. Um, so uh, it, it, it coming around to that and and trying to trying to bring that to life was was uh, something very important to me. You might be the last pretty face I ever see. The, the interesting thing that I found is that this series runs such a wide range. And at the beginning, you know, we're seeing them, we're seeing the beginning of the combat, but then by the end, we're seeing the stalag, we're seeing the camps, we're seeing all of that. And it's just such a, a breadth of information. And now between these three series, we've seen land, we've seen sea, we've seen air. Where do we go from here? Is there a chance for a fourth series? Well, uh, you know, probably the, the next World War II adventure we will have will be Tom Hanks written. It'll be the second Greyhound. 
mm. um, in just a movie on uh, Apple TV Plus. And uh, that'll probably be next if we go into the World War II world. Yeah. And as far as this series, like what I've noticed, Band of Brothers, like the cast, you look back and see over the years how so many stars came out of that cast. Do you get that vibe? I already can tell from the talent that's in this series, there's so many potential stars. Did you like see it like, wow, these guys are going to be huge? You know, we'd had such tremendous luck uh, with the actors who popped out of Band of Brothers. And, and then the Pacific, we had boys who've been very successful, including Rami Malek, who won the Academy Award, of course, for Bohemian Rhapsody. But this one's crazy. You know, this yeah. is like Austin Butler, Callum Turner starring in Boys of the Boat, uh, Barry Keoghan. What's going on? He already won a BAFTA and a, I think a Golden Globe, uh, nominated for an Academy Award. Now he comes out with Saltburn and he's a tremendous dancer. I mean, these, yeah. these are amazing things to have happened since they filmed our show. And I'm um, so excited for them. And, and they're, they're a great bunch of guys. They went through a lot of hardship on this show always held it together no whiners always funny and uh and you see i think on screen what is real that the chemistry between them is pretty great we won't go without a fight <laughs>